Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to second PUC statistics online classes. Let's move to fourth problem that is a pond has 30 fishes among which 10 are marked once. Four fishes are caught from the pond. Find the probability that two of them are marked once. Also find mean and variance. Okay, now let's see the solution. Here given observations is observations are the first one is 30 fishes. So 30 in the sense number of fishes, okay, number of total number of observation. We know that total number of observation we can write A plus B. This is equal to 30. Okay, next the parameter of hypergeometric distributions are A, B, and N. Okay, now the problem is based on here we need to calculate probability that two of them are marked once. So in the sense the value of variable is number of marked fishes in the sample of in the sample of here what is so here the, yes here x is marked fishes so here a is marked fishes so here marked fish, fishes are 10 so out of which 10 are marked fishes then what is b what is the remaining so a plus b is 30 out of which a is 10 so what is b b is 20 okay now what is n that is 4 4 fishes are caught from the pond in the sense so here sample size is 4 so we can write n is equal to 4 so the value of variable is number of marked fishes in the sample of 4 fishes okay now let next i will write probability mass function that is pmf of p of x is equal to a c x b c n minus x divided by a plus b c n here x takes the value x is equal to 0 1 2 up to minimum a comma n Okay, now we have the values a, b and n. Okay, now I will substitute these values in the formula. That is, this is equal to, that is p of x is equal to, here a is 10, 10 c x, b that is 20. So, 20 c, n is 4. So, 4 minus x divided by a plus b. So, here a plus b is 30. So, 30 C4. Here x takes the value x is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on. Minimum a comma n. Here a is 10 and n is 4. Okay, I will substitute these values here. That is 10 comma 4. See between these two values. 4 is minimum. So, x here x takes the value that is range of hypergeometric distribution is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, next. And based on our question, we need to calculate that is find the probability that 2 of them are marked once. So, here probability we need to calculate P of 2 marked fishes. Okay, this we can write this is equal to p of 2 okay, now i will substitute formula under this that is p of 2 we can write 10 c 2 20 c 4 minus 2 divided by 30 c 4 okay, here 20 c 2 is 10 c 2 is 45 into 4 minus 2 that is 2 so 20 c 
सी टू इज वन नाइंटी डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी सी फोर दैट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एंड फोर नॉट फाइव ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव इंटू वन नाइंटी इज एट थाउजेंड एंड फाइव फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एंड फोर 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 नॉट फाइव सो एट थाउजेंड एंड फाइव फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एंड फोर नॉट फाइव दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन वन नाइन ओके दिस इज द कैलकुलेटेड आंसर ऑफ probability of getting two marked fix fishes okay next we need to calculate mean and variance okay we know the formula of mean of hypergeometric distribution that is mean is equal to n a divided by a plus b okay we have all the values here n is 4 into a is 10 divided by a plus b that is a plus b value is 30 so here n into 10 that is 40 so n is 4 4 into a that is 10 so n 4 into 10 is 40 divided by 30 so 40 divided by 30 is 1.33 here mean of hypergeometric distribution is 1.33 okay next we need to calculate variance variance formula is n a b into a plus b minus n divided by a plus b whole square into a plus b minus 1 okay now i will substitute the values here n is 4 and a is 10 b is 20 and a plus b a plus b or i will substitute what is a that is a is 10 plus 20 minus 4 divided by a plus b whole square that is uh, 10 plus 20 whole square into 10 plus 20 minus 1 okay now here 4 into 10 that is 40 40 into 20 that is 800 here yeah, 10 plus 20 that is 30 30 minus 4 26 Divided by 10 plus 20, that is 30. 30 whole square is 900. Into 10 plus 20, that is 30. 30 minus 1, that is 29. Okay, now 800 into 26, that is 20,800. Divided by 900 and 900 into 29. That is twenty six thousand and hundred. Now twenty thousand and twenty thousand and eight hundred divided by twenty six thousand and hundred. That is zero point seven nine six. This is the calculated answer of variance of hypergeometric distribution.